I'm Scott Euknis for Climate Impact Company. El Nino will inspire the wintertime climate across North America this year. What that means is anomalous warmth across southern Canada and the northern United States with below normal snow cover unlike the last two winters. The storm track for December so far has been immense into the northwest U.S., but the storm track will be shifting further south as we get into mid and late winter, affecting California and eventually the southeastern portion of the United States. Some of these storms will be quite impressive. As the southeastern storms develop, following cool will emerge across Texas. Arctic air will be present this winter season, but staying over northern Canada. During the spring season, the El Nino will be fading, but the El Nino climate will continue. That means anomalous warmth continues across Canada and the northern U.S., with the southern U.S. storm track starting to weaken. In fact, over Texas, dryness will emerge. Next summer is a low confidence forecast at this long lead, but right now it looks like dryness developing over Texas during spring will extend to the north, and that means attendant anomalous warmth is likely across the Great Plains. Anomalous heat may be centered on Chicago for next summer, gradually extending eastward into the mid-Atlantic states. I'm Scott Euknis for Climate Impact Company. So far, it's been a classic El Nino climate across South America, featuring dryness and attendant heat for central and northeast portions of Brazil, while southeast Brazil into northeast Argentina has been wet. Will that condition continue through the summer season? Right now, it looks like some of that wet weather over southeastern portions of Brazil will extend northward and bring some occasional rains to Mato Grosso and points east, so it's unlikely that drought conditions will develop there. The drought to the north will maintain itself for central and northeastern portions of Brazil. Down into Argentina, wet weather is expected to continue, no drought down there, and summer on average will be near normal as far as temperatures concerned. As we move into late summer into autumn of next year, we expect the El Nino to start fading. The weather across Brazil will maintain a warmer than normal signature for central and northern sections while wet weather continues over southeast portions of Brazil. Into Argentina, the wet signature also continues and cooler than normal climate is expected there. Moving into next winter season, cold weather is possible over Argentina as La Nina approaches. Brazil will be mild and dry.